Here is a quick video demonstrating the operation of the Vertex VXR9000 repeater and an ARCOM RC1010 controller. Right now the repeater can be switched between local control or external control. Right now channel 2 is programmed for built-in repeater control and you'll see. We'll do a quick test here. Radio test one two three four five five four three two one. You'll hear the hang time beep or the courtesy tone beep, and then the hang time will drop. Radio check one two three four five. There's your courtesy tone, and three second hang time. The ID is also uh, enabled. It will ID once every uh, ten minutes. Now, if we want to use the external controller, we turn off the built-in controller. Go to channel one, which is set for base operation, you know, remote external control, and then you turn on the external controller. The repeater remembers these settings at power failure also. So if I turn the repeater back on, you'll see it's back in a state that I had it. So now you'll notice right now I have the ARCOM controller disconnected. So if I key up, you'll see the repeater receive light comes on, but it's not transmitting. If I turn the local speaker volume up, you'll hear me on the local speaker. One, two, three. We'll turn that down. Now. Like I said, the controller, the repeater is set for external control. I'm going to go on the back here now. I'm going to plug the ARCOM controller back into the repeater. You'll see it's a DB9 to DB25 cable that goes to the back of the repeater accessory port. Power is included in that connection. Now you'll see when I key up, grab the handheld here. Radio, Radio test, test, one, two, two three, four, three, four, five. five. Welcome to the RC210 repeater system. You'll see that the controller supports COS and CTCSS. So let me turn that volume down. So you'll see with my portable radio right now, I'm transmitting CTCSS and COS. If I take my Chinese piece of junk portable here and I turn off CTCSS, Gonna take a minute here. Okay, now I've turned CTCS off. You'll see now I'm only transmitting COS, so obviously the CTSS light is not working by 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 design. I'll go into the the uh, radio. I turned it back on. Radio test one two three four five, and you'll see we have full operation. Obviously, I turn the volume down on the service analyzer to get rid of the feedback. But anyway, there you have it, full operation with the external RC210 repeater controller, and you have the ability to disable the built-in, uh, the rather the external controller, and enable the built-in controller in case you need to take the ARCOM out of service for any reason. And once again, if I turn the repeater off, turn it back on, you'll see it remembers the state. Let me turn the volume back up on the test equipment. RC210 repeater controller V7.651. Ready. So there you go, the proper operation of the Vertex VXR9000 with the external ARCOM RC210 repeater controller.